This is a Fox News special report. Fox News coverage of a car crash in Times Square. One dead, 12 are injured as pedestrians were mowed down just a short time ago. I'm Sandra Smith in New York. We can now confirm, FDNY has confirmed one person has died in this incident. 12 others are injured as a car plowed down pedestrians in a very busy, very populated Times Square. A call came into the fire department at 11.56 a.m. Eastern Time of a motor vehicle accident at 43rd Street and 7th Avenues. This is the neighborhood that is Times Square in New York City. Uh, the NYPD confirmed one person is in custody. They are not saying if that is the driver, but that is what they are reporting. And the fire department, again, just moments ago, confirming one dead, 12 injured in this incident. Uh, we've got a reporter on the ground there. As you can see, this is the area. And it is hard to imagine a Times Square in complete lockdown considering nearly 400,000 people visit this uh, this specific neighborhood daily. It's extremely populated. It's a beautiful, warm day in New York City. It's hard to imagine all of this happening just moments ago. David Lee Miller is on the ground there. David Lee, what is the latest that we are learning? Uh, Fox News is now getting information that there is one death confirmed uh, and at least seven seven injuries. These numbers are, are changing uh, as they so often do in, in a situation like this. And to, to recap about what happened here earlier, uh, it does now appear increasingly that uh, this vehicle was trying to enter a pedestrian portion of Times Square. Um, this may be an accident. It may be something more sinister, difficult to tell, but you need to take the following into consideration. Zoom into the vehicle now, and you can see, as we pointed out a moment ago, and I think this is significant, that this car is now resting on one of what appears to be, I'm a block away, but it appears to be one of the uh, uh, metal stakes or poles that are used to prevent any type of vehicular traffic from entering this pedestrian zone. And uh, if, if, in fact, this is uh, what the driver intended, uh, that's why there were, in fact, so, so many injuries. Also take into consideration, again, the fact that this vehicle was heading in the wrong direction. So those two factors um, are things that authorities are no doubt going to have to consider. The car was heading, at, according to witnesses, at a relatively high rate of speed, over 20 miles an hour, in a very congested area of New York City, where it's difficult uh, to, to move at all. It was moving against the flow of traffic, and the car apparently struck a, a pedestrian barrier designed to prevent these type of injuries. At this hour, it appears that all of the injured have now been taken away. Midtown Manhattan remains completely frozen, not just this area, but this is a major intersection. I'm going to ask the photographer to pan around here, and you can get a sense of, of just what is unfolding here in the very heart of New York City on a beautiful Thursday afternoon, an area here that would normally be teeming with people to enjoy the nice weather. Uh, tourists as well as New Yorkers uh, now has come to a grinding halt. The uh, pedestrians are now behind uh, police uh, barriers and uh, traffic has been completely, completely sealed off. And now I'm getting a, an updated figure on the number of people who were injured. Now we are told that uh, that figure has been uh, put at 12 people. 12 people injured, one person confirmed dead. Um, no information at this hour about the driver of, of this vehicle. We are told that he is in custody. Uh, no mention uh, of his identity um, or, in fact, uh, where he has now been taken. Was he possibly injured when this car hit this uh, 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 steel pole and finally came to, uh, to, to rest? 
Uh, we heard one of the witnesses say that a bicyclist, and I saw this for myself, was arrested and, 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 ta and taken away. And now we're being told that the area we're in, we're being, we're being told we have to leave this area because the vehicle, uh, they're still trying to secure the vehicle, figure out this area is safe. Now they're moving back, not just uh, the public, but the, the, uh, the media as well. We're going to move back. Um, and it's worth remembering, too, that uh, a number of years ago, uh, there was a failed attempt by an individual to set off a, a, a car bomb in this area. Uh, so no doubt that is also on the minds of, of the authorities. That is a concern that uh, there may be uh, some type of... Well, it's interesting. I'll jump back in here. David Lee Miller reporting on the ground for us in Times Square, New York City, where uh, a call came in just before the noon hour in Eastern time to the fire department that a vehicle had jumped the curb and mowed down pedestrians on the sidewalk in a very busy Times Square, the neighborhood 43rd Street and 7th Avenues. Also, by the way, the FBI is now saying and telling, to, confirming to Fox News that they're aware of this incident. Uh, they say no determination yet on cause. Uh, so many various reports are coming in right now. The FDI, uh, FDNY has confirmed one person dead, 12 injured. After this car mowed down pedestrians, um, Kennedy, I'll bring you in here. Uh, this is an area you know very well. We've got some stats in front of us. On the busiest days, Times Square sees 480,000 pedestrians. On average, about 400,000 pedestrians daily. A very busy time of day, a very busy area of Manhattan. A very scary incident has occurred. We don't have a whole lot of information yet on the driver, although the NYPD says that they do have one person in custody. Yeah, and there have been various thwarted terrorist uh, incidents in New York City, in Times Square, which is, of course, a global tourism magnet, but also, as David Lee Miller pointed out, you know, surrounded by skyscrapers full of New Yorkers uh, pouring outside for lunchtime. And, you know, there is one report that this this was uh, a, a troubled man, uh, possible DUI. He is being tested for alcohol consumption. That driver is in custody. Uh, one NYPD source saying that it is not, in fact, uh, a terrorist incident, but uh, someone who apparently became inebriated and drove his car the wrong way up Broadway and, uh, you know, nearly completely flipped over, running into one of those barriers, which, as you pointed out, are meant to protect pedestrians. And there are so many pedestrians. And uh, as Emac pointed out earlier, uh, former NYC Mayor Michael Bloomberg uh, really tried to bolster security in this area because of some of the incidents that uh, have happened in the past. And obviously, because of the high-profile nature of Times Square, it is even more of a magnet for people who want to do something. And we did get word that New York Governor Andrew Cuomo uh, was en route to the area. We know he's on the ground there now as well. Uh, he is briefing people on the incident. Um, also, in addition to the FBI just confirming that they're aware of the incident and cannot conclude anything as of yet, uh, we there is a picture of the governor being briefed on the ground um, by police officers. Uh, what we're also hearing, and you've just heard from David Lee Miller before he cut out, uh, is that the crowd was being moved. And that is important because on the left side of the screen, you're still looking at the vehicle hoisted on the sidewalk there after it mowed down pedestrians, and it is still actively being searched. So they are clearing the area. Um, Pat Brosnan joined.